Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. How are you? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I'm becoming a psycho. I've realized that about myself. I am. I watch conspiracy theory and like slap fights till like two in the morning on YouTube, you know? Yeah, I start like piecing shit together. I'm becoming that guy. I'm like that guy, you know, when you sit there, you, ever, you know, you're sitting there drinking in a bar and all, you know, some guy's cool, you're talking about the game, then all of a sudden he's just like, you know, there's no gold behind our, our currency. You realize that? You're like, oh yeah, that's great. Pick up your drink, just fucking walk away. <laughs> no, that's what I'm becoming. Totally into conspiracy. That's why I think Barack Obama's going to win their, uh, the, the, uh, the election. I think they're going to let him win because they're in the process, yeah, they're in the process of bankrupting this country and I think that they need a black guy to blame it on. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to happen. Dude, it'll totally feed into the rednecks. They'll be like, you see? You see what happened? Dude, he's only half black. Well, that's the half that did it. That's what happened. I bet the white half was saying. Is that too, you know, see, I'm just fucking losing people. I am. I just look at TV and nothing makes sense to me. I'm sick of them telling me shit is shocking that it's completely obvious. Crocodile Hunter dies. Who oh, can you fucking? Yes, yes, I can totally believe it. It's why I watch the show. I watched it every week because I knew eventually he was gonna fucking die, and I, I wanted, I wanted to see it. Right? Oh, I like that. Uh, that dog, the bounty hunter video, or the uh, the phone message he left. You know, people are like, can you believe he left that? He left that racist message. It's like, dude, look at him. Look at him, some redneck with a mullet down to his ass. He drives a pickup. He's got the gloves with the fingers cut off. Yeah, who would have thought he had a couple of fucked up ideas rolling around in his head, you know? <laughs> Dude, you know what would have been shocking? If he could play the cello, that would have been shocking, right? Yeah, and then you'd be sitting there like, sitting like, God damn, look at Doc. Here it is, I thought he was some racist on his way to a steak and shake, and hey, he's busting out a little Beethoven. God damn, I owe this guy an apology, you know? God, I'd love to see his iPod. I can't imagine the eclectic mix of music. <laughs> There's so much time I spend alone on the road, man. I actually spent so much time on the, alone on the road, I actually like contemplated milk to the point I can't even fucking drink it anymore. <laughs> Sitting there drinking, like, man, this stuff is great, tastes awesome, you know? Then I started thinking, it comes out of the carton, and I just did the police work, it, it comes out of a cow, and I'm like, I am fucking suckling for another species. We have such a crazy relationship with cows. <laughs> you ever think about that? No, you, you can nurse from it, you can eat it, right? You can tip it over when it's sleeping, but if you fuck it, you're going to jail. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking about getting a dog, everybody. I am. No, I'm at the point, nothing alive is dependent on me. I, I, gotta, I gotta get out of this, this tailspin, man. So I'm thinking about getting a dog. My girlfriend wants me to, to like adopt a dog. She's like, you want to adopt a dog? We should rescue one. You want, you want to do that? I'm like, no, no, I don't. She's like, why not? I go, because I think a lot of those dogs there, they're a little fucked in the head. <laughs> yeah, how do you think they ended up down there? It's like, dude, that's not a pet store. That's like doggy death row, all right? Why don't we just go to a prison and like adopt an inmate and on the off chance that maybe they didn't commit the crime, you know, just roll the dice. Dude, fuck that. I want a brand new 2008 Bulldog, all right? I don't want some, I don't want some like 1995, half a Labrador, it's got part of its ear chewed off, you know? Every time I go to use the toaster, it starts freaking out. You know, because his last owner hung him from the ceiling fan every time the Jets didn't cover the over, you know? Dude, that is an animal. That thing could kill you. If it, you know, if a squirrel wanted to fuck me up, if it just started running at me, by the time I processed, like, is that a rat? Is that mechanical? By the time I figured it out, it would have ran up my leg and just taken chunks out of my ear. <laughs> then I got to tell that story for the rest of my life, sitting in a bar. Dude, what happened to you? A fucking squirrel, right? <laughs> Never get laid again. That's what I'm saying, right? I get one of those crazy dogs, get up at like three in the morning to take a leak. Right, I'm shuffling to the bathroom, and that's the exact moment his previous owner used to come home shit-faced and beat the crap out of the dog, right? I got no clue, I'm just, you know, sitting there shuffling to the bathroom. Meanwhile, the dog's getting all amped up, like, fuck this shit, man. I promised myself I wouldn't let this happen again, all right? It's time to man up, man up, ah! flying 
at me. Takes a big chunk out of my neck. Then what? I'm laying on the ground bleeding. What are they gonna do with the dog? They're gonna take him right back down to the prison like some repeat offender, have like shackles on him and stuff. He's just sitting there hopping back in. We knew you'd be back. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Get me a milk bone, you know? Wheel him in like Hannibal Lecter with like that lampshade around his neck. I gotta work on my temper though. Something I really gotta do. I let, I let, I let like the thoughts just spin away, you know? I was on a plane the other day. I actually had the urge to elbow an old lady in the face. It was like compelling, it was unbelievable. You know, when you go to get off a plane, there's like rules when you go to get off the plane, all right? It goes row by row by row. And this lady was all like, ooh, I'm 90, I get to cut everybody, right? So I'm competitive, I start fucking boxing her out, right? <laughs> start bringing down like the overhead luggage, you know? So she just starts like waddling around me. And all of a sudden I just feel my elbow like, dude, you're gonna take this shit? <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. The whole half of the plane is watching it. Come on, man, come on. Man. Dude, we got a wide open shot. Just, just, just real light, poof. You know, I gotta hit it that hard. And then you can play it off. I'm literally talking to my elbow like, dude, come on, man, we can't do this shit, all right? This chick's like 95 years old, we can't do it. And I thought I had my body under control and she got like to right about there and then I felt my foot like, dude, we could still trip her. It's still tripping. Just throwing that out there. All right, I'm out of time. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bill Barr, a round of applause for Bill, man. Great. Did you have a nice time tonight? Thank you guys, and I really mean that for supporting this show. Let me thank you so much for being a part of it and providing the theme song. I love Anytime. you. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you again. I appreciate it.